Hello everybody, my name is Tundra, and today I'm going to be showcasing a glitch in The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This glitch is useful for many things in the speedrun, and um, is one of the main glitches used, and it's, uh, it's fun to mess around with, and you know, it's just, it's something that when I was a beginner, I had a hard time learning and I just couldn't find any good tutorials on it for uh, myself and so I had to kind of learn the hard way and you know maybe it was easy for other people but I just had a hard time with it so this is for anybody who is also having a hard time learning this uh, but anyways the glitch is dry storage and basically it allows for super swims that you see shooting across the ocean delivering your hitbox to like climb up walls and all this crazy stuff skipping cutscenes and things such as that but how this glitch works is uh, there's a thing in the game called a wind waker dive I'll just show it real quick and then I'll tell you about it but um, as you've seen there that is called a wind waker dive Oops, missed it. But yeah, you get the point. And um, that is the most important part of getting storage, or dry storage, as it has been called. But as you can see, when I climb this ledge, this is one of the things I had trouble with. I don't fall off when I just climb up it regularly. It's it won't push you off because you have space. But um, let's say you pull out the wind waker while do while climbing up. That is what's going to give you a Wind Waker dive. And why can't I get a Wind Waker dive? This is like the easiest thing ever. That's a Wind Waker dive. Um, I have a specific way I time that. Some people like to mash the Wind Waker button when they're climbing, but I like to do it right about now. Oh, okay, then don't work. Right about now. As you can see, just when it's about to pull up all the way. I pull out the Wind Waker. That should give you it almost every time. Alright. But, um, in the midst of your Wind Waker dive, three frames before you hit the ground, I think it is, um, you'll cancel the cutscene, and that should give you a little. Uh, it's, it's hard to time. I'll just show it real quick. I can even do it right now. You see how he can cancel the Wind Waker? Like that. Alright. If you cancel it three frames before, see, we're in like a weird kind of thing going on right now. But you'll know you get it when you just see the B button and nothing else. So, now you have something called Camera Lock. When you pull out your Wind Waker again, all your controls will be reversed, it'll just be crazy. This is used for a number of things like super swimming and stuff, fun stuff like that. But if you pull out the Wind Waker again, it'll fix that. Um, I'm not sure ex how to explain the timing so well except for the Wind Waker dive, which is like right about as he's about to pull up all the way, and then I just hit the Wind Waker. Again, you can mash where you just press the Wind Waker once. My personal preference is to just press it one time, but some people can mash it. I don't, I don't find why. I'm, uh, I've never really been good at the mashing, but um, yeah. So you just get a feel for uh, pressing and canceling the Wind Waker before he hits the ground like that. You just, it just. It takes practice, um, but um, yeah, that's how you get storage. I guess I could show off some of the effects real quick. I just talked to that guy, but see, you can just save text boxes like that. Uh, one of the more fun things is. Like, super swimming is the most fun thing. So, yeah. Again, just Wind Waker dive, cancel. 
it's really easy. When I was learning the game, I don't know why that was so difficult for me to learn, but yeah. Ugh, what did I just... no. Look at that. Anyways, yeah. So... That's dry storage, and uh, I hope this helped. If it doesn't, you should uh, message me. I'll help you out, and uh, yeah. Thanks for, uh, for watching. I hope this helps. I'll see you guys for a new tutorial sometime soon, hopefully.